Hi friends, Yari here with Third Eye Yari. And we're going to start with uh, Beyond Memoria today. And um, if you haven't listened to it, I uh, put yesterday, yeah, yesterday, the Lionsgate uh, portal video, the much awaited Lions uh, portal video. Lionsgate portal video um, where I explain what it is and how to maximize um, the powerful, powerful energies that um, it's already um, providing us. So I recommend you go check it out and also the video of July 29th it's very important it was spirit was telling us um, about you know Lionsgate and its manifestations and what else oh and there was another video I can't remember the date um, it was called um, energy hygiene where spirit was telling us how to clean up or our energy to maximize um, the Lionsgate portal. So those are important videos if you are so inclined to watch because you want to maximize um, your manifestations for the portal, okay? Oh, root chakra, ground and center. Yes, grounding is important. Forward. Very good. And this is mediumship training deck. And this is this is um this is the root chakra and the, the, the root chakra is all about your physical identity, stability, grounding, inner child, home, finances and basic needs. But this is calling us for transformation. You see how there's um, a butterfly, a butterfly, and it's almost like it's going up and you see the sun, you see the light. So it's calling us to ascension and to transformation, which is, <clears throat> excuse me, which is uh, all about the lion's gate all about the lion's gate. The lion's gate is a very strong energy to help uh, the earth in general, including us to transform. Time to heal. Yes, yes, time to heal. That's some of the things that we need to do um, ongoing, but especially for this time of the lion's gate to heal. <laughs> Healing, learning, ascending is an ongoing process you don't get to finish and get a certificate oh you finish healing you finish learning you finish ascending no it continues it continues forever <clears throat> and i think that's what makes life so interesting and so colorful because we're changing all the time and we can we can strive to be better every single day and all of that is healing, learning, and ascending. All of it. This starts shuffle so nicely. <laughs> this these are the spell casting oracle cards. I get like in a trance when I'm shuffling. Sometimes I don't know when to stop. Freedom. Freedom. This is this is interesting because this lady is like on a cage. But she's free. <coughs> and I think not that our bodies are a cage, but we are encased. You know, we're not we are spirits. Uh, living a human experience and our body is what contains our spirit and well part of our spirit our ego 
uh, part of our soul. Uh, but we can be free. We can certainly be free, especially when we um, start on a spiritual path and start ascending. We can find incredible amounts of freedom um, into that, even when we're still contained in this physical body. And this is the Rose Oracle. This is the beautiful, beautiful Oracle. Every time I touch it, I feel this love from the time I opened the box when it was brand new. Oh my God, the, the love that these cards give is incredible. The return, a new story, you decide, alignment, it's coming together. And there's a woman in the middle of that. You can hardly see her, but there she's there. And she's actually touching her breasts. And it's almost like she has spirit coming right out of her head in the ascension process. And this is something that we definitely decide. If there's things about our lives, about our situation that we don't like, do something about it. Changing is your choice. It's your choice. And that's all also about healing, learning, ascending, and freedom. I think we can see clearly a, a pattern here, a theme coming out. <clears throat> and I think all of this has to do with the Lionsgate, which is not, not surprising. And this is uh, Wisdom of the Hidden Realms. Lord, communication, praise, dishonesty, dishonesty, communication, praise, dishonesty. Hmm. I want to see what the author has to say about that. And it's card number 43. Four is balance, three is community, seven is spirituality. Let me see. Wisdom of the hidden realms. Okay. It's one of the last cards, yes. 43 here. Let's see what it says. The word Lord rules communication of all kinds and lets you know that positive interactions can be expected when he arrives as your ally. He only speaks with positive words and praises all he sees. He reminds you of the laws of abundance and praise. When you bless the world, it blesses you back. When you say a affirm and supportive words. They carry an energy that returns to you in physical form. Remember that each one has power and will resonate into the universe seeking its reflection in manifest form. Your body responds to praise as does everything in the world around you. Praise it for the inherent health and beauty. Applaud yourself for everything <clears throat> you do, as even the tiniest accomplishments are important. Praise your bills, 
Give thanks for the services you enjoy and watch the ability to pay them increase as you align the Spirit's increase in power. This is also time to remember the powerful practices, practice of affirmations. Write them down and speak them aloud as a spiritual exercise. Say it, it is so, and it will be. It's a very auspicious sign when the, when the word Lord cho chooses to be your ally. As a challenge, okay, so that's what, so, oh, okay, so in reverse, it will be the opposite, it will be uh, dishonesty, okay, so look how um, spirit is telling us everything that we need to do in preparation or through uh, the lion's gate. And now it's, it's talking, it's also talking about affirmations. And affirmations like manifestations need to be done, um, written down in the positive. So you don't want to say, I want to lose weight. You say, I want, uh, I'm, I'm so happy and grateful to have my, my, uh, my um, perfect body weight, right? Um, so you always want to be positive. You want to say that you're happy and you're grateful. That's what I use. That's what uh, Bob Proctor uses. He was the one that came up with, I'm so happy and grateful. And that's what I use. But you can use... I feel gratitude, I'm happy, and whatever you want to use, you don't have to use those words. Uh, but you have to, to, to show gratitude, and you have to write them down in the present tense. Um, I am powerful, I am beautiful. You know, those are positive affirmations. Um, so, depending on what you're doing, what you're trying to obtain, you write your manifestations and your affirmations in that way, okay? And something short. You don't want to write a paragraph for your, especially for your affirmations. You can for your manifestation because you can read them over and over again. But your affirmations that you want to say them over and over again, keep them short, okay? So you can remember. Um, and if you're using um, praying beads, uh, Amala, that's 108 times that you do it. You have to remember what it is. You don't want to. Well, you could be reading it. But it's so much easier to do something short than you can remember. Okay? All right. So this is uh, Keepers of the Light. Gaia, wow, okay, Earth Connection, uh, be mindful of the planet, come back to Earth, stay grounded, okay, so, um, it was, it was speaking to us about uh, being grounded here, um, and this is clearly Spirit preparing us for the Lion's Gate, um, and these are practices that should not stop just at the lion gate. They should continue. But um, spirit has been very clear the last few readings that I've done about, you know, getting us ready for lion's gate. Because um, getting grounded and being connected to Gaia is... Something that you should do on a daily basis, for sure, hands down. And this is chakra inside.
forgiveness. Wow. It's also talking to us about healing again. Letting go, healing, growth, compassion. So guys, this cannot be any more clear than this. Spirit is really speaking to us about getting ready for Lionsgate and, and what we need to do on a daily basis to and it's not even about ascension it's about living a fulfilling powerful self-empowering powerful happy fulfilling life i mean that's just it that's just it ah, this is so wonderful okay and this is the Akashic uh, Tarot. And this does not follow the... Um, very closely does not follow the structure of Tarot. So I'm not sure why they call it Tarot. We have... Oh. <laughs> And we have roses, and we have the rose um, oracle cards here. Um, but well, that's what they chose. Because the suits are different, they don't have... They don't have all the, all the court cards, I mean, it's just different. So they could perfectly well have called it the Akashic Oracle instead of the Akashic Tower, but that's what they chose, the Akashic Tower. All right, so we have Seven of Roses, Seven of Keys, talking about Ascension, we got Seven, Seven, and then we have Fourteen, which is a double Seven, so we have four Sevens already, and, and Five of Keys, which is Transformation, which we have over here. All right, so the Seven of Roses is talking about the journey. And this is definitely a journey. The spiritual journey is definitely a journey, no pun intended. Um, I mean, it's, it's work, but it's so worth it. It's so worth it. And it's going to be times when it's going to suck. It's going to suck big time. Especially when you're going through um, the dark night of the soul. Whew. That, that is tough. And I went through that for, I don't know, 15 years maybe. Uh, it, it was tough. It was tough. Um, I probably had a lot of karma to clear from other lifetimes uh, because it was it was a, a, a painful and very 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 long dark night of the soul um, and people go through night dark, dark night of the soul dark night of the soul oh my god uh, for usually a couple months maybe a couple years not that long that's very very unusual um, but it's so worth it for me to be here in the way that I am, um, I could not have done if I hadn't gone through that. I, I am 100% sure. I'm not just saying that. Um, there's a level of gratitude and, and the wisdom and understanding and healing and learning that there was just no way that I could have obtained if I just had, you know, a regular normal life. I had to go through that to to get it. So the seven of roses and seven is a very spiritual number. Is that deep, wise, powerful intuition, the combination of the conscious and subconscious, and we have it four times here. Okay, um, and it reminds me of my favorite saying. Um, life is about the journey, not the destination, right? Uh, and this cannot be more clear. Seven of keys, the ascent. We are ascending. 
we are ascending. This gate, this portal is all about ascension. We want to use the energy for manifestation. Why not? But it's all about ascending. It's all about being better people. It's all about getting closer to the universe, to the divine, to the creator. Um, wow. And then we have a number 14, which is seven and seven. Initiation in the, and the Count Saint Germain. Huh. Let's see what the, from my Akashic record. Um, 14. Fourteen. So, this card represents your intuition. It is much more than a change or even a transformation. It's nothing less than your movement into higher re revelation of power, insight, and achievement. And the time is now. Some loss of lower vibration relationships, job, or activities may be required in order to lift you to the new heights and power that awaits you. Your initiation can be aided by meditation and study as well as connected to Ascended Masters with whom you have worked for centuries upon centuries. Know that you have shared purposes and activities with the Masters, even if you aren't certain of what they are yet. The disciplines you create now during your initiation and the work you do with the masters will lift you, your service into the world to, to, and to all humankind, this, and to all humankind, period. This is a time of enormous uplifting, first in your energy and evolution, then in your manifest outer reality. The power that you hold within will impact every part of your life. I mean, do I need to say more? This is all about ascending and manifesting, which is the lion's gate. That's what it is. That is what it is. Okay, uh, then we finish with transformation and wishes fulfilled. That's what I mean. We are going to ascend and we're going to manifest and we're going to get it. We're just going to get it. We're going to have our wishes fulfilled. And look at that car. That, we've seen this car before. That little house is full of light and that table is full full of food so it's all about abundance and when you have a table full of food you're gonna have family you're gonna have love you're gonna have sharing and laughter I mean it's everything that we want right everything that we want this is wonderful spirit is being so clear to us it's amazing so I'm gonna take three astrological signs if you find your sign, this is especially important for you, but really this is for all of us, okay? And we have Capricorn. We have Scorpio. And we have Taurus. Yes. Okay, um, and then the letter um, is if you find your initial or the initial of your person or even if you see a couple letters that reminds you of a word, that's a, an extra message for you, okay? And I try to take out 10. So first we have F, D, H, 
H, W, Z, we get that Z all the time, all the time, and we need more letters, X, L, we need two more. And I have two more. <clears throat> we have T and we have G. Okay, so we don't have any um, I'm blanking out with a very, very, very common word. Vowels. Oh my god. Vowels. We don't have any vowels. <laughs> and without vowels, we cannot make any words, right? So, is that a message? I think it is. I think it is. I think you need to come up with your own messages. Maybe you need to talk to your higher self and, and come up with your own messages. Um, or do your own spiritual practice. Go into meditation. Listen. Listen to what spirit has to say. Uh, go into nature. Talk to the trees. Talk to the plants. They will have something to tell you. Hands down. Okay? I think we have uh, time for... No, charms, 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 Jerry. Charms. Oh, Jesus, why did you do that? That's a lot. That is a lot. Okay, so so we have a couple of a couple of signs here about travel, um, about our journey. We have the world journey. We have the camper or journey. We have the frog and the frog is take the leap of faith go ahead ask for ask for whatever you really desire try to do what you want take that leap of faith have faith in yourself and we have an octopus here an octopus um the octopus for me um it's well it's a it's a it's a water creature so it's all about love but octopus is about willpower and focus so we can do this we can do this we just need to we just need to focus on it it's you know we we, we can do this um and then we have some elementals we have fairies here we have a little fairy and then we have the unicorn and those are the part some of the helpers that the universe sent for us to help us in this in this journey and then we have the tree of life letting us know that we are all interconnected we're all interconnected you know we're all one with the creator we are and this ascension process um and this landscape is gonna help us feel that connection for sure and we're gonna be able to paint our life in whatever colors we want we can go ahead be bold do what you want to do now the moon is feminine energy, is fertility, is progress, is um, it's um, oh my god, creativity is creativity, is feminine energy, is creativity. So be creative uh, with your life. Be creative with your with your wishes, with what you want to manifest. 
but be like the giraffe you can be up there but you need to stay grounded okay the giraffe we need to stay grounded it's important okay and then the outcome is the sun this is a sunflower but sunflowers means the sun to me the, so the sunflower it's also it, it also means faith and we need to have faith we need to have faith in life we need to have faith in the universe we need to have faith that it's gonna it's gonna work out for us if you don't believe it, nothing is going to happen. But if you truly believe it from your heart and you give it your all, you'll see it happening. You will see. You will see it happening. All right. Thank you guys for being here and spending this time with me. You have no idea how much I appreciate. Uh, let me know in your comments below. What are you going to be uh, asking for? It will be fun for me to know. And if you have any specific questions or any themes that you want me to explore doing Yari Teaches, I will be more than happy to do that for you. So let me know in the comments below, or if you want a little bit more privacy, you can shoot me an email at thirdiary at gmail.com. And with that, I'll let you guys go, and I'll see you all tomorrow. Bye, guys.